I'm Brian Varela. I'm a resident engineer in Region 4, currently in hydraulics. And I'm here today to talk to you about the resiliency program that I've been grateful to be a part of. One of the things that we're using resiliency for now is project delivery planning and scoping. And in the project delivery workflow, there are many steps that get you from an idea to an actual project ready for construction. At the front end of that, when you're pre-scoping, scoping, or even at the planning level, sometime before you've actually put pen to paper and said to yourself, this is what we're gonna do, we found that looking at resiliency and resiliency calculations has shown us benefits and opportunities on projects that we would not have seen otherwise. Hello, my name is Callie Wagren and I am out of Region 4. I was the project manager on our 2D Quick Check program, so I was able to beta test a lot of the risk and resiliency tools that are available. And they were very helpful in being able to quantify a lot of our opportunities that were identified through our 2D Quick Check program. I will be doing a demonstration of the Risk and Resiliency Excel Spreadsheet tool. This tool can be found on the CDOT Resilience Program website. Once you get to the website, you'll want to scroll down towards the bottom and expand the CDOT Risk and Resiliency Tools, Guides, and Manuals tab. This is where all the tools and tutorials are located for the Resiliency Program. The first thing you want to do is look at the manual for the Risk and Resilience Analysis Procedure. This manual reviews the data, information, and assumptions that went into calculating risk for the various asset threat pairs at CDOT. You can download the manual by clicking on the link. This is a critical step to understand the Risk and Resilience Excel spreadsheet tool. Once you understand the manual, you can download the Excel spreadsheet tool by clicking on the link and you'll also need the CDOT Detour Identification Tool. Once you open up the Risk and Resiliency Excel Spreadsheet Tool, it will open to the How To page. This has general instructions for all the assets and the threat asset specific notes. As you see on the bottom, each threat asset has its own tab. This is where each threat asset can be analyzed for risk and resiliency. These tabs contain steps one through six as described in the manual. Step seven, which is risk and resiliency management, is completed in the benefit cost ratio tab at the very end of all the tabs at the bottom. This tab analyzes the annual risk, average mitigation benefit, mitigation cost analysis, and the benefit cost ratio per the information that was inputted in the other tabs. Let's review one of the threat asset pairs. Let's look at a flood bridge threat asset. All the threat asset tabs are set up similar in that they walk through steps one through six as described in the manual. The spreadsheet is simple as putting data into the yellow cells. However, it is important that you understand what's happening in these grayed out cells so that you know the assumptions and data that go into these calculations. Let's start walk walking through the flood bridge analysis. 